prepare for today. It was just two years ago when we first welcomed a group of visitors to our school for our first Blue Ribbon site visit. At that time, we didn't realize the lasting impression that the first Blue Ribbon site visit would have on us. At the time, my welcoming speech talked about our someday dream to become a Blue Ribbon site visit school just two years prior to that day and how someday had finally arrived. Today, I welcome you and share with all of you that our Sunday is now every day. You see, what we thought at the time was an end to our school improvement process and all of our hard work, it was really only the beginning. It's what happens each and every day. More importantly, in our classrooms, what happens each and every day is what being a Blue Ribbon School is truly all about. The process is one of continuous growth and a journey towards excellence. It's a never-ending process and a process that brings a school community together in so many ways. A Blue Ribbon School of Excellence is one that is always striving to find best practices. It's truly a process of systematic change. So, as soon as we achieved our mission and reached our vision two years ago, we started that same process all over again. We upped our expectations and began the climb once again. In the area of data analysis, what we once thought was collecting a variety of data in many different ways was best practice. We were so proud to show off our magnetic data board that we once had and displayed lots of information about every child. The Blue Ribbon process has taught us, however, it's not the data, it's the conversations that you have about that data with what it's all about. This year, we're proud to share with all of you our new data management system that you'll see a little bit today, which stores more data than you can imagine, but it allows us to spend the time talking about our students, the three-tier intervention model that we have in all subject areas, because we know all students can achieve at high levels. Sometimes it just takes more time and for them to learn it in a different way. In the area of mission and vision, two years ago we knew the importance of having a school improvement plan, an attainable mission, and a vision. And we were so proud that our school improvement plan was developed using SMART goals and objectives. Now, just two years later, we know it's not the school improvement document that moves the school forward, but it's the members of the school community, our staff, our parents, our school council, and most importantly, our students. We all need to say, as I like to say, on the same bus. Right, Ms. Lewis? On the same bus, we need to share the same mission and vision. So these past two years, We've worked hard to rewrite our mission, our vision, and our school improvement plan as a school, school community. Our staff members even wrote their own SMART goals to align with our school improvement plan. And now they work in professional learning communities that work toward achieving these school-based goals. In the area of sharing best practices, two years ago, we were so proud to share the best practices that we learned while we were away at the Blue Ribbon Conference down south. Now, our teachers here are modeling and sharing best practices that they have developed and learned through their PLC work with schools all around. They are true teacher leaders, helping others to learn and implement best practices. In the area of school culture and climate, Two years ago, we were so proud of our school-wide bucket-filling philosophy and our terrific character education program. But in our continuous search for what's truly in the best interest of children, we realized that we didn't have the proper safety nets in place for students who came to school with empty buckets. In fact, our data showed we needed to put forward interventions for these kiddos. But at that time, we didn't have the foresight to figure out how and what um, interventions to actually implement. Now, just two years later, through these school-based committees 
and the dedication of an outstanding staff, we have developed a formal staff student mentoring program to support our students who come to school with empty buckets. And when we did that, we learned not only do we fill their buckets, but we fill our own too. In the area of technology, two years ago, we integrated technology in our classrooms by using our smart boards and sharing video clips and video streaming with our students to enhance the curriculum. Technology today is not integrated, it's just the core of what we do here. Our teachers use blogs, wikis, Pinterest, and many other forms of technology in so many different ways. Most recently, a few teachers have even begun flipping their lessons and lecturing and having children go home and watch their video clips at home and then come to school ready to share their newly acquired knowledge in meaningful ways using 21st learning skills such as cooperative grouping, problem solving, and project-based learning. The most dramatic change here, though, has been standards-based education. Two years ago, we were so proud of the curriculum programs that we used, which aligned with the Mass State frameworks as they were research-based and the best on the market. But now we know it's the teacher that matters. And we teach the standards using a variety of programs, research-based practices, and by developing backwards design units based on those standards. Today, you will see some of these practices that I've spoken about in action. We hope to inspire you and have you bring back to your schools ideas that you like so you too can begin or even continue on your journey towards excellence. We start each day here at our school remembering three very important messages for our students. What we do here is important, that they can do it, and that we're not going to give up on them even when they give up on themselves. Always remember that the work that we do is in the best interest of our students. Teach and lead with your heart and build strong and trusting relationships with one another, your students and their families, because we're all in this together. So I thank you. I welcome you to Killam Elementary School. The rule is, what's ours is yours. You may take pictures, you may ask for copies. I've shared with you our folders and a little bit about our school. I put a copy of our school improvement plan out on the tables for you. If you see something you like, ask for it. Ask a teacher for it, snap a picture. They're ready for you and they're ready to share all the great things that they do.